when you've been created to do something, it's not, it's not going to go away. It, it will, Definitely. it will consume you from the inside out and you'll have to give yourself, you'll either have to give your gift or give yourself. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, welcome to my channel. Hey, yo, hey, yo, listen up, listen up, hey. Shit, you in charge of the girls, right? I am in charge of the girls. Are you in charge of the girls? I am in charge of the girls. Okay. Welcome, Jate. Like, I feel like I, I have know. to be super serene, like, having you on here because your energy is just so West Coast, and I'm not used to that. <laughs> we just chill. It's just okay. Like, we just got to vibe out because I'm really, like, I love bloopers. I love all that kind of stuff because it shows you like the authentic side. So that's what I like the hard work. It shows you what work you put into it. So like when you go back and watch you like, yeah, we had this moment, that moment. So I just love that. I'm not no. Oh, my gosh. I'm one of those like, hell yeah, we are creative. Absolutely. But see, I'm East Coast and East Coast girls are neurotic. We're like. Oh, we gotta be on top of everything we gotta be here there do everything and that's why like everyone tells me especially because i'm so like eclectic in my music taste and all that they're like you need to go to the west coast and i do think the west coast would like chill me out some you know yeah yes embrace it it'll embrace you i promise okay well we we already have worked out a coast swap you're gonna have to come out here and sit in my yellow room with me i'm ready to come back to North Carolina, especially Absolutely. Charlotte. I love it. And I'm going to have to. I love it. I love it. It's, 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 it's nice. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's tough because like it's my hometown and it's kind of become something that it wasn't when I was growing up, but it's actually like a dope city, you know, it's kind of like trying to brag Evolve on yourself. Yeah. But I'm going to have to come, Evolve I'm going to have to come out to the West coast with you and be in the desert and enjoy all that heat. Yeah, you can get a little bit of San Diego. That's up by the water. That's military base. L.A., you hear about L.A. all the time. So you, you have a ball out there. It's so many different. They're like two and three hours away, but it's just like worth the drive. <laughs> the mountains you see, the rocks, the scenery, you'll love it. Yeah, love I know it. that I would. I wrote a book about um, a, a character that was out on the West Coast in California and it was hard to write because I had never been there but it allowed me to kind of like vicariously like research and you know live out that yeah. whole fantasy of being in California so I'm gonna make it happen this this year I'm going to California okay it's it's summertime <laughs> <sighs> okay well I might wait till the fall then just so that I don't combust <laughs> Yeah, because it is even in August, you're like, whoa, like, oh my gosh. August is like hot, hot. Yeah. September is still pretty hot. I don't know, triple digits. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll let you tell me when be the best time. Now, let's see what Madam Ruby sees. I think I'm in a much better place now, so. It's time for it some looks fresh. Like it. it looks like it. It sounds like it. So we are going to definitely, before we actually open your read, we're going to ask for a great protection and opening your vulnerability and, you know, just your your core. And we're, we're asking for the best part of it and some guidance for it. Nothing evil to come against it. And anything that anybody sends you, we're asking that it's returned to sender. Because no. Okay, no, we are not having that. So whenever you're ready, I'm ready. Whatever is meant for me is for me. Like you said, all other energy, we are returning it back to the sender. Exactly. In that manner, because what a lot of people don't understand is when you say things like, oh, I hope she never finds the one. I hope she never gets this. Those are speaking curses. So I'm sure somebody hates. I don't like to create fake haters, but I'm sure it's somebody, she thinks she does. I hope she never get this. Never yeah, get yeah, back. yeah. We're sending all that back, okay? We're sending all that back. We want no parts. You're right, because people will say stuff like that. They're like, you'll never find somebody like me. It's like, that's, that's the hope. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so our first card is going to be an oracle. That's going to be over your overall signifier for your relationships. Overall. Okay. The oracle is one of my favorite cards. Because it gives you the picture, right? Yeah. Overall. Let's get the overall. Get the overall. Straight out. Radiance, summer solstice. So with this, I feel like it's saying, it's it's what you just said. You're in a different space. So I'm feeling a lot of the sun card even here. Like a lot of looking for sunshine, leaving the old behind. Like, so it's just like, that's dope ass energy. Okay. I love that. I love it. So we're going to read out of the book for that one and see what's going on. The word sol solstice originates from the Latin words uh, solcium, which means stationary or stop, sun. This is because twice during the solar year, the sun appears to rise and set in the same place for several days. It seems to be taking a much needed rest before making the next citric across the sky from one solstice to the next. It ceases predictable certainty having existed since before the time of our ancestors so you got a lot of ancestors ancestor energy on you that means that relationships are going to be very divine for you in this moment very divine they're going to meet you where you are not where you know not off of expectations but they're going to have to meet you where you are or at least reach a little higher okay so there are stories in many cultures that personify the sun as a de de deity oh help me deity either male or female often riding the sun across the sky in a boat or a chariot chariot is cancer energy so that's your energy with the summer solstice comes the cumul cumin oh my god these words culmination of the sun's travel travels that have led to the longest days of the year the light is now at its fullest and has provided its own brand of nourishment. So a sun person, that's just very much of where your energy is placed right now. You're a sun person, so great happiness, but you have to be very mindful with who you share that energy with because that can also turn into straight fire and you could burn some stuff down. So the level of energy that you're having in your relationships will bring a, a passion that can be a little scary at times okay so you have to just watch out use discernment you know what i'm saying somebody trying to match you and you find out they're fake and then you gotta burn them and then it's gonna be burning be be mindful of that part okay okay so its own brand of nourishment to the land and all of its inhibitions celebrations and ceremonies abound passion and playfulness are themes we feel a desire to be outdoors in nature world and reap the benefits of the longest days of the year we instinctively seek light and during this cycle there's abundance of it okay so beautifully said okay beautifully said okay my words are stumbled upon because it's so exciting to see someone so radiant like i said when i first talked to you it's just like all it is and it's like oh it exists yes so there are you have you possibly have suitors that you know nothing about you have admirers that you know nothing about and you're just da -da 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 -da, and they're like oh my god my heart's not working when she's around so you have a lot of <laughs> you have a lot of um not in a nasty way, but you have a lot of seduction and intelligence to you right now. So you pop in. You pop, you pop in. You are popping. Send me some of that. Okay, so self. Let's get a little closer to you. Let's get a little focus. We have the bigger picture, the bigger energy. Now let's boil it down to self. What's here for self? Ooh, walking away, moving forward. Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands. That's just walk away and move forward. Walk straight out of something in, and move towards something else. No, There was no middle ground here. There was a release. There was a catch. Okay? 
there was no absolute middle ground here so i feel like this is energy of going after whatever it is you desire master manifest in energies right now you know the power that you have behind saying hey i want that if i just give it that time or i invest in it or i be consistent i can grab it mm -hmm. so you just have that energy of if i put my mind on it or to it it's within reach so that's whatever you're reaching for right now is very reachable because you're very open to it you're not closed off guarded is different than being closed off so indeed there is a little guarded energy here because you had to walk away from something but the fact that you're willing to walk into something is just a guarding it's not a no i'm not pushing it away you're just very guarded you want to know if if it's worth entertaining if it's worth holding on to, if it's worth even letting it in the camp. Absolutely. Okay. So our next card will be others. Okay. So others that are in relation with you at this moment. Be co-workers, family, friends, whatever. Let's see. What are they bringing to the table? What is that energy bringing to the table? You have the queen of coins in reverse. So as of right now, you... You might have people, actually, it's an, it's an energy of these people may be valuable to you, but all your work is coming from you. You're putting your best foot forward. You have no expectations on another individual to bring in your wealth, to bring in your abundance. You say, hey, yeah, I can let you on the team, but don't for one second think that I, this monkey's going to stop his show if you have a crick in the road like i will help you out but i have to stay at focus i have to stay focused on me can i see that card that card was the queen of coins in reverse mm. she was the queen of coins in reverse okay so she so basically from them that's that's it like you're already sure you are already sure or you're getting ready, like I spoke on cancer energy, to give something or someone that last hoorah. And if they don't entice you, it's like, because you're already on your, hey, you're chugging along. You're on your go. You're ready. Like, you're mm. not going to. It is the anyone. accuracy for me. It's, it's the accuracy <laughs> for me. You're not going to put anyone on a pedestal that they don't, they didn't earn or they don't hold. Okay. Expectations on self. Expectations on self. Transformation. You are trying to definitely move to calmer waters. If you had a situation where you tried it this way and it crumbled, the next time you stumble upon it, you're going to fight yourself to do it in a different way because you know you took a lot of L's, right? So you're looking to see how can I get wins, okay? But you're not trying to steal them. You're really trying to transform your energy mm -hmm. into that so you can keep winning. You're trying to find that niche. Like, hey, if I went wrong this way, I'm going to do it right and I'm going to make that my law. So you're a lot of doing your own tradition right now. You're writing your own story, being your own narrator. What else is here? Oh, the chariot. You're in reverse to so you. At this point, you don't even really feel like yourself. You possibly don't. I can't tell you what you do, but you possibly don't feel like yourself. You feel ever shifting right now. You feel ever shifting. It's like, okay, I felt like I've never felt before. Like you're, like you're very much so not trying to stay stagnant or you're not trying to go too far. It's like uh, Drake said one time, he said, um, I pace my I pace my dreams so I can always chase. So you're not trying to shoot past you or you're not trying to be way back there. You want to be aligned with self. You want to be aligned with everything, but that's called you out of your normal self. It's called you out of your normal comfort zone. What are you yeah, I'm definitely outside of my comfort zone and not that, you know, but you you're hitting on some things because even with the queen of coins, because I just recently moved into finance. And so that's yes. really making me, you know, I've never been in in a banking world. And so 
a lot of that has changed the way I see, you know, because with finances, everything's about checks and balances, checks and balances. And yeah. we're creatives, you know, so I've never been in a world where I had to like balance out everything, you know, input had to match output. And so it's making me look at so many inefficient like systems in my life. Nice, beautiful. And with that being said, you have the five of cups in reverse as well. You brought back to that queen of coins, which is also in reverse. So there's no, you don't, at this point, you have no boundaries on what you're reaching for. And it's not in a nasty way, but you said, hey, I'm not going to hold myself back. So this is why I said it's relationship. It could be work. It, you're not holding yourself back in anything. You're going to figure out the blueprint of it so that you can work it and make your own. So a lot of your experiences right now, they're going to help you future wise with relationships, maybe business partnerships. You know what I'm saying? Like there's things you're putting in place to know so you won't be able to get bamboozled later on in life with what you bring to the table. So that's a lot of that energy, okay? It says it's a lot of your ancestors here at play. So they're like, you're not playing with ours, okay? We're going to put her here, get this done for her so she can know what she's doing. Like you said, your background you come from, it's very, it brings honor. You know what I'm saying? So you're, you're bringing honor because you're actually touching some of the things you're supposed to touch. What is your strength in these relationships? What is your strength in these relationships? Oh, high priestess. I ah, Listen, I the high priestess is very, very, very just I have no word for her because she's very good at what she does. Sometimes she can play the fool when she knows it all just to get more information. So it's very strategic energy here and very much so um, on the right type of pedestal. It's not overly confident. It's confident enough. It's open enough. It's ready enough. Yeah. Okay? I'm, I'm trying to find. Enough. I'm trying to find the right artist to put the pre. I want to put the priestess card like right in here. I want to put her here. She comes up in every reading that I have. Wow. Yeah. So she's here. High priestess. She's right there. So that's a lot of that's that's your strength. That's who you are. That's what you bring to the table. So I can actually say. Um, it's an authentic goddess because I have this thing where I have authentic goddess and false goddesses and a lot of people get mad at me about that but I acknowledge the false goddesses because that's you at a low vibrational mm -hmm. energy mm -hmm. and it's no sister left behind for me no brother left behind so if you're low vibrational we just gonna call you false at that moment but if you on your shit and you vibrating high you got that auth authentic goddess energy then you just got it it's no fight absolutely okay I love this energy here, though. So let's see the weakness in this, okay? Let's see the weakness. It's the weakness. So it doesn't feel like... It doesn't feel much of even love at all. Your love is general right now. Your love is on earned income. <laughs> you got to earn that love. Like, I, it's the sun card. The weakness is the sun card. And I just feel like sometimes that you get a little um, down and out when things are just not so radiant. But you also have to understand there's a negative for a positive, you know. Um, so when it comes to the sun being here in your weakness, that also jumps over into that Leo energy that you also have on top of that Cancerian energy. And what that is just saying is sometimes you just have to have boundaries on that Leo energy because the Leo is ready all the time, wants it how they want it, but that clashes with that Cancerian energy who likes to, you know, get everything together before they step. But that Leo's like, no, step. The Cancerian's like, ah. So it's just a it's just a balance that needs to be here. And like you said, you're in a position to where you have to balance like never before. So it's all pretty much lined up for you already. It's all lined up. So what this next card is going to be, this next card is going to be any energy that you previously had and what's going on with that. So you can keep that in mind, however that goes, but this is the energy that comes with your love situation, your last connection. <laughs> Queen of Cups, this is the thing they did. It wasn't, it was no appreciation of truth and emotion here. Emotional unavailability is here. 
it surrounded the relationship. Just someone being emotionally unavailable, one person feeling like, hey, you're too emotional. It's just not seeing eye to eye due to not wanting the same things. Maybe somebody lying about wanting something, but they're not actually executing what it takes. So now three of uh, wands, you're just waiting. You're waiting. If it comes, it comes. If it goes, it goes. It's like, bye, hi, bye. That's that step out. That's that move forward. Just period. Okay, let me get the moonology. A lot of healing here, too, with the magician. Healing energy. Very healing energy, okay? It's not, it's not bad. It's actually okay. So learn when a person does not truly want the same thing at an early stage in the relationship is amazing. I always say I will waste a few months, but I'm not wasting no years. Okay. <laughs> I will waste a few months. Monology. Monology. What is here? Ooh. Let me take this off. Surrender to the divine. Full moon. Surrender to the divine. That's all that takes place in every relationship that you have. Surrender to the divine. They work it out for you. There's no need for you to get any get back. There's no need for you to be petty at this moment. There's no need for none of that because everything is divine right now. So once you surrender to it, people will start falling off like leaves in autumn if they're not meant to be there. You know, it's not no, it's no fight, you know, and that's that energy, excuse me, of you saying, I'm walking out of this and I'm walking straight into something else. And that's also that energy of I will wait on no one, not in a negative way, but you know what you want for you. So you're, no other monkey is going to stop your show. Do we have any questions, comments or concerns? So um, you asked me to <laughs> be vulnerable and I do. I do have a particular situation that's like in my mind and in my heart and I just kind of like need to know if it's like I know there's like good and bright things on the horizon for me like even with the sun card coming up I feel like one of my biz biggest weaknesses is the amount of optimism and just open like hope and trust that I have in every situation like I don't approach anything thinking like it's almost like a naivety like it's like bro yes. get your mind right yes. it's like you know and as much as I've been through things that people are like you know you need to you need to you know I still always am like you know, I just hope wish the best, but I am kind of facing like just really a decision between like, it's like, do you take the bird in your hand or do you take two birds in a bush and, and, you know, in, in times past. And I think that's where the feeling of like, I'm not myself is kind of coming up because in times past, you know, I'm gonna stick with my bird in my hand, like just make that bird work. You know, them two birds might be dope. But Mike could have been, but I'm just, you know, I'm not that risk taking person. Yeah. And I'm finding, like I was saying, in the world of finance, low risk, low reward. Like it comes a certain point where you got to put yourself out there. What they say, scare money, don't make money. Yeah. So you, you gotta, gotta you got to put yourself out there. You got to take a chance in order to win big. You know, like you can have that appreciation of capital over time. But if you really want to see true growth and personality growth, you got to get outside your comfort zone. So I do have one situation in particular that I'm kind of. Okay. You want to get into it? Or? Yeah, I feel I feel okay. like it's time to dead that situation. Okay, so let me just get this other deck, and then we can go specific on that. Let me grab this other deck. And I'm glad you got into that ancestor energy, too, because I have been feeling that a lot. Like, I was in a room the other day, and it just felt like my dad was there. Like, I felt like something was telling me, like, call your dad, but my dad died in 2020. and But for that moment, it was like... He was right there. It was like, ooh, I need to call my dad. And I never think that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never think that. But for yeah. a second, it just felt like he was just there, you know? Yeah, it's definitely present. It's, it, it's here. And this is the thing about the cards. A lot of people, I go in the book with some of them. And 
other of them, I'm just going intuitively. Like I just picked up a deck and was like, yo, I can do, I see things, I can do it. So therefore, like with it being in the cards, it's just confirmation. That's what I tell a lot of people to look for in a reading. Don't you ever write your story off of any reading or anything. You pick up what resonates and put what down, put what doesn't down. Yeah. Yeah. So and when it goes with you and it's confirmation, it's beautiful. And one thing that's a little different too, is that, you know, like when I was younger, I used to read, like I do have the gift of sight. I just, you know, like it wasn't, that wasn't for me. That wasn't for me, but yeah. I've been, I've been on that side. So it's like you said, it's one of those things where a lot of people are so guarded when they come into readings that they're looking for like what, you, you know, instead of really, that's why I won't let just anybody read for me. Cause you know how it is on, on IG people be like, Oh, I felt your energy and I want to read for you. I'll be like, no, you didn't. I know you didn't. I don't even know you like that. You know? Right. So, so you have to be very careful. Like I don't let people read for me who I feel like have, you know, motives or guarded energy and that's why you saw like you know me and you got to know each other first and I was like you know what this is really like a bright person so it's like you yeah. said I understand as a reader that you're not an interpreter of a card you're the medium of the card that information is just coming through you you know yes. what I mean and so you know a lot of people are like well what do that mean what, what what's that supposed to mean why am I supposed to you know and it's like you're not looking for a specific answer you're looking for a certain energy you know yeah Definitely, definitely. So let's get into you two a little more. Put it all in your head. Put it all in your head. Send it. And let's find out. So it's going to be a total of eight cards. Mm. Total of eight cards for this spread, okay? Mm -hmm. And in this spread, it's going to tell you how the relationship is helpful to you, how it's a distraction to you. How, what is it teaching you to heal and love about yourself? How is it helpful to the other? How is it a distraction to the other? How it's helping the other heal himself? Where it is now and where it's going. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. So how the relationship is helpful to you. Clearing away obstacles, protection, and guidance. This relationship came like a karmic relationship. People hear karmic and they get scared. Or, you know, they feel like, oh, my God, karmics come to teach you things. Mm -hmm. They come to put knowledge in you. They come to tear some things up. They come to transform you. So that's how the relationship is helpful to you. It actually gave you something to get to where you are in the moment. It, it put things in your head. It, it's giving you ideals of what you don't want and what you actually do want out of a person or out of a relationship. Bars. How the relationship is a distraction to you. Reflection, illusion, self-examination, and distortion. You battle with yourself and your identity off of this person. Sometimes you're on a clear path and then they come in and squirm you. Now you can't see straight. So something that's going on within the relationship is causing fog. In your, you know, it's like you can really like this person. You can really deal with this person. But something's causing fog where you need clarity. So you're like reaching, reaching, reaching for clarity and it's more smoke, more smoke, more smoke. So it's a distraction because you're in a, a, a moment where you need to see clearly. And that's all you're asking for is to see clearly. And that's not being delivered. So it's distracting you from other things. It's getting in the way sometimes. Not heavy, but you know those times you lay down and think at night and it just clouds you and you can't sleep. Now you're tired the next day. So it's things like that. Like you, it is occupying a good amount of your mental at certain moments in your life. Okay. What the relationship is teaching you to love and heal about yourself, the message, positive news, positive outcome. So what you actually bring to the table is teaching you to not be, you may be confident, but it's teaching you that you don't have to dumb it down. Sometimes you just have to modify it because sometimes it is very, um, offsetting. It could be very offsetting because it's so dominant. Like you're you're something of a soft dominant, but you're very dominant. So it's teaching you how to articulate your needs and your wants and your vulnerabilities in relationships. Sometimes when you get deprived of something, you learned a lot about it because you learn exactly how you need it because you're missing it. Okay. So how the relationship is helpful to the other. 
eternal dance, movement, will of life, path of least resistance. You're teaching this person how to breathe again, or you've taught this person. That was probably the connection. You've opened them up to where it's you're like, you're not that open. You probably opened them up more than what they were ever anywhere you know so you gave them some dance you gave them some of your son you gave them some of your you know what i'm saying you gave them some of your pizzazz now they want to take you to just run it's what the definitely it's what the french call um joie de vivre which is the the joy of life yeah joie de vivre and it's the it's like the the joy of life You've definitely given some of that. So that helped this person a lot. So this person has gratitude for that. Although sometimes people can get uh, overconfident. I like to use that. They can get overconfident about what you gave them. And you're like, hold on, you didn't? Okay, whatever. Okay, so how the relationship is a distraction to the other? Purification, water, emotional cleansing, and rejuvenation. Whereas you're trying to grow, they're, they're comfortable. So your growth, is a distraction to them because they're kind of semi-comfortable where they are and you're constantly like come on let's go to the next level and they're like gosh i just got here so it could be like you're you're never too much for anybody you never ask for too much sometimes you just ask for the from it from the wrong person so it's just not bad bad energy but it's just where i'm seeing a lot of you growing and them being okay with being where they are Okay, so what the relationship is teaching the other to love and heal about themselves, remembrance, resurfacing, resurfacing of the past and emotions. You take this person back to a childlike energy. That could be very scary because a lot of people are not open and truthful about their childhood. So when you take them back into those memories, yeah, they may have good times, but they may have also had trauma. And a lot of the time men don't express that. So that could be a hidden a child childhood memories and that could be a lot of hidden things within him that you call out. Like your light scares his dark. Like, oh God, like she's open, she's light, she's bright, and I'm hiding, I'm still scared. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's not terrible, but you can kind of feel what it is. Like you're moving at a, and they're just like, hey, I'm kind of, I'm comfortable. And you're like, no, we got to grow. They're like, no, I just got here. So it's much, much of that. Where the relationship is now, achievement, keep focused on your dream. That's because you're you're achieving by not folding. You're achieving by not taking your vision off of what you truly want. That, your heart's right. So as long as your heart is right, everything else is okay. And that's what I'm feeling here. Like your heart is right, but you're not letting any monkey stop your show. You're like, no, I got to keep going. I kind of, I got to keep doing this. So where the relationship is going Moonlight goddess, repressed emotions, healing and reflection. So I don't feel anything changing here emotionally. I don't feel a disconnect either. I feel a lot of just detachment to do what you have to do and for them to do what they have to do. It's one of those situations like maybe later. You know how you get those? Like maybe if I catch you in about a year and a half or something, you might be where I need you to be. It's just a lot of that energy. Like this is two different Two different passions, two different journeys. Uh, the truth needs to come come out that you both don't want the same things. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people try to get caught up. I want that because he wants that. No, I want that because she wants that. You can't do that. That's suffering. That's setting up to suffer. So that's a lot of what is going on here. I hope this clarified a little bit. It did. The situation. It did. And, you know, I think you're getting some kind of like ambiguous, un, like indecisive energy off of that because that's exactly what's going on in the situation. Like it probably doesn't feel very definitive, but for me, that is definitive. <laughs> okay. So see, everybody has that definition. And at the end of the day, for me, it just feels like a fight. It feels like a fight of with yourself it's a me versus me and a lot of the time it's in relationships and we're having a me versus me and we can't um articulate that to our partner so we just start kind of acting all kinds of ways and then we so used to losing we just like whatever you know what i'm saying so it's a lot of indecisive energy here. yeah and a, and lot, a lot of, of sabotaging um self-sabotaging yeah a lot yeah. of self-sabotaging and so like i said that for me is definitely exactly what uh you know it it resonates with me it resonates with me yeah so we're using the field spar 
We're using a self-esteem, self-awareness crystal right here. This here is um, increases self-respect and helps honor yourself and the ability to create a new life. And you can see the colors, right? Hold can on, you bring see it that? over. Yep, I can see it now. You can see the colors. That's beautiful. That and it reminds me of the yellow. Yeah, I was about to say the yellow. Yeah, so it's just all, it all ties <laughs> some kind of place, okay? So it's a lot of self-awareness happening, self-respect. You know, like implementing these different things don't get caught up in one thing. And I feel you not doing that. You're not doing that. Okay. Yeah. So something's going to get one. If you go back on, on my Instagram today, earlier, I uh, was reading. So go ahead and look at that cancer. Look at that Leo, okay. whatever other places. Yeah. I think when I cancer. jumped in, you were on Aquarius energy and I was like, oh, not me, <laughs> baby. Oh, no, you're on there. And that's what I'm saying. A lot of that last hoorah was on there. Like, I'm going to see if this works. And if it's not taken off by this time, I'm going to have to do what I, I do. have to do mm -hmm. to make myself happy, to be happy. So that's a lot of that energy. You should go back and watch that when you have time. You will definitely, it will definitely all connect and okay. come together. Yeah. Okay. okay I definitely so how you feeling? Feeling good, feeling good. I am, and I really appreciate you, Jate, for coming in and reading for me while you were reading. I just really felt in my spirit, like, bless her. I'm going to, I got you, because I really okay, do. I, I appreciate just the, um, you know, sisterhood that we've been forming with each other. Um, if you don't mind me asking just to kind of dig around in your pocketbook, how long have you been reading cards? I have been reading. I actually started reading, and my mom gave me my first deck March 2020. My mother gifted me with a deck, nice. and I stayed up with it. And I just started, every energy came around me, which was like my family. I'm like, come here, sit down. Let me see. <laughs> Tell me if this resonates, because I don't want to false prophesy. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do none of what they said comes with it. Me personally, I just feel there's there's messages, there's downloads. Mm -hmm. And this is divination. This is a way to communicate. I use it as a way to communicate. There's no there's no evil behind mm -hmm. it. Although evil comes with it, I block that out because I know my most high. I know what's going on here. And he wants us to communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. So I honestly have been reading since 2020 i don't do it a lot but when i do i do and that's what i was telling you i, I battle because there's mm -hmm. so much things i say throughout these cards that can help a person that's when you've been called to a certain assignment a certain calling because i think for me too because you know i started in um as a diviner and I had been given like sight at a very young age and people talk about, you know, being a seer, like people don't understand that seers and prophets are different. Diviners are different from, you know, the way you use your gift um, is totally different and people don't seem to understand it. And they get so weird about certain things, but it's like you've got Moses and he's got a staff and this staff does things you know it spreads the sea you know this staff brings rock brings water from a rock you know the staff budded at one point the staff was thrown down and it was turned into a serpent you know so that's divination yeah <laughs> that is like divination that is guy using a certain medium to speak to his people but what i found over time like i said with the cards are that i felt like like for you, the cars are a way of communicating, but I feel like at a certain point for me, the cars were actually holding me back, you know, and I think because I had gotten into the study of what the cards meant and relying on the cards for the message that the more and more that I just grew in my own prophetic nature and realized that it was the voice behind the cars. And I'm actually saying this to you as an encouragement. It was the voice behind the cars that was giving the cars life. And for a long time, yes. I was thinking the cars were telling me what to say. And then I wouldn't feel comfortable telling people what I saw sometimes because I'd be like, oh. they ain't going to want to hear this. And so that's why I want to encourage you to understand that, you know, like I'm listening to your interpretations and seeing how in tune you want to be with your gift. You know, so just to always understand it, just to always know that whatever 
emphasis and whatever courage you're willing to put on your voice like even when you were talking about getting kicked out of the groups and all that stuff that's how it starts you know jesus was kicked out of synagogues and you know when you read these stories about people that really had to make a stand and say things for god more often than not they weren't a part of you know the popular you know the the popular assembly you know being that voice like john that cries out in the wilderness so the one encouragement that i would give you just as an older much older sister to another no because i'm a millennial so i'm you know i'm i'm a toys r us kid i'm forever young millennials i think are gonna be I think I do. That's why I'm thankful to be born in '92. Because one thing I do say, not to digress, what you're saying, '92 from after '94, you didn't get the real stuff. If you kind of got in before '94, you got some of that '80s. Yeah, you know what I'm definitely. saying? That you got some of that good good still definitely. if you were before '94. So I, I know it's not <laughs> definitely, but I will say that um, you know, just as just as a mentor now you know god has his eye it says he's roaming you know over the face of the earth you know just like the enemy roaming over the face of the earth seeking whom seeking whom he may devour and so you have to like when people talk about like the ancestors the universe different things like that there was a time when like i'm a christian i'm a staunch christian people are always like you can't talk like that and be a christian like take it up with god damn whatever but I, a lot of people don't realize that god is a collective consciousness you know and that we've all come from that consciousness of god being created in the image of god and that we return to this collective consciousness of god if it wasn't true then the bible says that we are encompassed about by so great a a cloud of witnesses and whenever you have a witness you have a person who has a testimony it's a person who's seen something and so the people who are willing you know like i know you go in the hood they say who shot this for people like i ain't seen nothing i ain't seen nothing I don't yeah know. yeah I ain't seen nothing yeah. and people who are afraid are very rarely willing to say what they've seen you know what i mean so just always remember that you're being sought out to be used as a medium for your testimony because you're willing yeah. to say what you've seen unapologetically. So that's why I appreciate you coming to read for me so much. For sure. I, for I know sure. that you for have sure. a, a, a genuine sensitivity and sincereness that is going to fare well for you in this gift. Yes. Yes. And that's that biggest battle. I told you is that Christian and don't touch those cards. I'm like, oh my God. Like I literally put my decks up last year, just Mm -hmm. put them up. And then I was just so empty without, not not empty without them, but I was just feeling like I was supposed to be doing something with them. So I was just looking at them like, oh my gosh. But you have to. Oh my God, I don't want to let you down. Like, you know. And you have to know that light was called out of darkness. You know, that light pierces darkness that darkness exists whether you're whether whether you're willing to shine a light on it or not and that was the place where like i said through my spiritual journey i had to integrate the shadow man that's what jesus died to overcome and to defeat and every time you see those elements of death and rebirth in you know the quran and scripture and all these holy books is pointing to an individual experience like so many so many people think god is out here but god is in you the Mm -hmm. very manifestation when he said let us make man in our image he existed in a certain plane and he said, I want to extend my image into this dimension and create it us. So, Amazing. you know, that is the very eyes, hands, ears, mouth of God. And so many people, because they don't recognize that they are the hand of God, use their hands for all type of evil and darkness and wickedness. So at the end of the day, you have to understand that in order for there to be a day, there has to be a night. In order for there to be light, it has darkness that, that you know, like you turn a light on inside of a outside in the sun, you don't see. It. Right. And so a lot of times when God is calling you as a light, 
It's in dark spaces and the light will and the darkness will never comprehend the light. So those people that are like confused, <laughs> they don't get it, they don't understand, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. <laughs> you know. That's okay. You know, you know it. within it. you, you know within you what you've been given and whatever you've been given, you were given that to give it. Yes. Well, Jate, I, I appreciate you, my darling. Did for you, sure. Make sure you, you shout out having... your business and let people know where they can reach you. Tell us about your IG and your readings. Okay, so I am the Wounded Healer, W-O-U-N-D-E-D-D-H-E-A-L-E-R. Right, didn't I W-W-D? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, you double So on there... And I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put your um, link in the drop box in the description Thank box. Because you. you know Instagram, you have to play with your name because some people want to have it, and that's common too. Like the shot, and it's crazy because astrology, the Chiron is the wounded healer. Like if you know a lot about it, like man, it goes crazy. But on my Instagram, so sometimes I go on there and I read for Zodiac. Sometimes I read for Elements. And sometimes I just read as a collective. So sometimes you can just go on there and sit in there. And if you want, like, a personal reading, you can always inbox me and we can book you to mm -hmm. get a personal reading. And yeah. we'll go over prices when it comes down to you as a person. So yeah. that's pretty And I've actually doing. been in there when you've been reading and seen your, like, reading kind of, like, seem to take a turn a little bit. And I'll be like, oh, Lord, them cars know I'm in here. These cars <laughs> that, that showed up and started telling my story. Because, like, I'll be thinking because to myself. The more energy, yeah. the more energy you bring, it's just catching. It's like, you need to hear this. You need to hear this. You need to hear this. And by then, I'm so tired. I'm like, oh, I can't. I'm so tired. It takes energy to read. It takes it energy to talk about this stuff, to say this stuff, to mm -hmm. give it. So it's just like, whoa. Sometimes you have to, it's a lot of self care involved with um, reading or doing what you do, doing what I do. We talked about it as we set up, like, mm -hmm. yo, this is a lot. <laughs> and people take that for granted. They get up here talking BS and yeah we that could go all day but it takes well a lot see they're they're practice. they're open to their dark side and it's crazy how just the fact that that person's willing to get out of the way and let darkness pour through them how much more popular you know we see people get elevated just because they was willing to open their mouth and and let darkness come out and then people can flock together and do whatever they want to do just revel in the darkness and then as soon as you say something with some light on it just a little speckle of salt you'd be like well you know i think maybe there's people ah, 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 my eyes my eyes my eyes so you know that's that's the thing that truth and light truth bearers and light bearers have to accept you know they literally took the light of the world and snuffed it out they literally took jesus yeah. and laid him in a grave they literally took jesus and said give us barabbas like a smooth murderer and y'all kill him so you have to understand that you know we're never going to be greater than the original light which was jesus and if they did that to him and like clearly you signed up <laughs> clearly you signed up for you know signed up to get slaughtered you, oh, you signed no. up for a timeshare baby and uh you know and unfortunately like you said um jeremiah said this and as a prophet i'm always i always try to be very well well versed on prophets like you always want to um and this is a good note for you you always want to find people that are like you that do what you do like minded yeah and jeremiah said that he said even when i tried not to prophesy it was like a fire that was shut up in my bones when you've been created to do something it's not it's not gonna go away it, it will Definitely. it will consume you from the inside out and you'll have to give yourself you'll either have to give your gift or give yourself so what's it gonna be What's it going to be? What is it going to be? What's it going <laughs> to exactly. be? Okay. So yes. the beautiful so, thing yeah. about me and you is we give and get so much from each other. I always feel like it's this great, even exchange. So I am definitely going to do what I can to direct people who are looking for light and truth and direction your way. And I appreciate you so much for coming on today and giving me such a lovely, timely reading. Take care of business here. All right. That's all.
That's all I heard, really, is take care of business. Business is going to take care of you. Get your system. Yeah. Your, you write your own story. Yeah. That's a lot of what I'm hearing. This girl is on fire. Alicia. Girl is on fire. Fire. <laughs> That's all of what I hear. Fire. And also, Super, if, have you ever heard her song, Superwoman? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm a big Alicia. Because even fan. when I'm a mess, I still put on my vest with the S on my chest. Oh yes, that's oh, just yeah. that energy. Well, as soon as that's as soon as energy. my girl, the priestess, popped out, I was like, oh, she about her business. She <laughs> like, nope, nope, you're not about to get sidetracked. You're not about to go back the way we came. No, yeah. no, no, we still about this business because you didn't already sus. You didn't sussed out the vibe. You already know. So now we're gonna move on. You already know. Yeah. Confirmation. That's Definitely my favorite word. Like that's the message. Cause she kept saying that she said, until you get your money right, don't even worry about like your love life. She was like, just get your money right, get your business built. Because your love life, your love life might run up on you in that bracket. What a lot of people don't understand is I can't find this. I can't. Listen, you're not even around. You listen, baby. You top floor type material. So spirit be like, nope. I'll let you play around a little bit, but I gotta get you to the top exactly. tier at the right table exactly. so you can get exactly. the right kind of masculine or feminine or you know. Mm -hmm. And it's not all about money. It's just about their upkeep. Because the higher up you go, you do have that dark, but you do have that light. Yeah. Those people who yeah, take and care it's of about know how and it's about making the yoke equal. A lot of people think an equal yoke is just about both of y'all being Christians. I don't know where they got that from, but. You know, it's about two people that know how to plow a field. It's about two people that know how to uh, distribute work in such a way. Because I don't care what anybody says. Like, with me, I, I didn't go to school for finance. But moving from a career that I knew into finance, you have to work. There's a lot of people that don't have what they want because they are afraid they haven't put the work in or, you know, whatever it is. And when you have met people on that level, you're either meeting hustlers that took that chance and bet on themselves. You're meeting highly educated people who have really dedicated themselves to that, that skill set. You're, you're dealing with a highly favored person, a person who's, confident in who they are and knows who they are there's just like you said there's a difference that comes with separating yourself because i can tell just the difference in me from embracing taking those chances to where i am now and those are two totally different people like that separation that you were talking about between the direction i'm heading in versus the direction of the you know it's my ex-husband we're not headed back in the same direction because it takes a certain thing to climb a ladder. And if he don't want to come, then the only option I got is to stay on this level. So I think like you said, my business is going to give me proximity to the types of people who can at least understand that drive, you know, and then, who, and then you don't have to right? who you don't have to worry about whether or not you can get on the same page with that person because they want the same things that you want. So like your reading was like dead. Yes, dead on. Yes, it's dead on. I love it. This it feels better to know. So all it is mm -hmm. is all that ugly. Not saying too much of crying, but you're not know at releasing. Mm -hmm. I hate that people make it like it's not hard, even though when you know something is just not it, it still takes a toll. You know, so mm -hmm. I just be like, yo, it hurts, it hurts, but it heals too. It like does. it heals. Too yeah. and healing is like people say time heals everything. No, no, I don't believe that. I feel like putting in the work to heal, yeah, with the time being intentional, that's gonna heal. yeah. And the people one thing your gift and your ability to deliver it is going to come out of what you suffer, what you suffer yeah. for it, you know, just like all the people we see that are at the top of industries, you know, basketball, play football, they sacrifice a lot of their body, a lot of their time, a lot of, you know, a lot of things to get to that place and get to that level. And until you get there, you'll never understand it. You know, we can, we can sit back and pay money to watch them, but to actually be in that place and be in that arena takes a whole different manifestation mindset like you said they're manifesting on a totally different level and we think all of it's just physical or it's just money or it's just that and it's not it's something down that's inside of you and that's why since you're on the wireless women channel right now i want to give you that encouragement to say i always tell people unplug that's your old mm -hmm. life your old ways of thinking be unbothered 
<laughs> stop worrying about what people think about you. Because as my grandma said to me, ain't nobody got no hell to throw you in. They can tell you all day what God ain't in and what God ain't going to do and what God don't like. But at the end of the day, they can't judge you. They don't even have no place to put you if they did. Yeah, you go in the court. <laughs> you go in the court. At least a judge can bang that gavel and put you in a in a prison. But these folks' opinion ain't gonna put you in nothing. Right. So Let's so let go. it go. It's okay, like I, love it. I don't think I don't think God wants you. I don't think you should do that. I don't. Thank you. Unbothered. And then, I've lost, I'm telling you, I've lost relationships. So my motto is unplugged, unbothered, and then unleashed. You know, in that place where no one else has a prison to throw you in, no one else has a hell to throw you in, you can really begin to own your, your voice and own your outcomes and, and, and see how far, you know, see how far what, who you are and what you believe about yourself will take you. And the one thing I could tell you from, you know, my previous life in entertainment and all that different stuff, the one thing that those people had in common was that they believed in themselves. That's really it. A lot of them will tell you, I wasn't the smartest. I wasn't the fastest. I had a homeboy that I went to high school with. He was a much better football player than me, but... I decided to, you know, go to this college or, you know, I decided to leave the hometown. He wanted to stay around everybody else. These people just bet on themselves, believed in themselves, and it took them all the way as far as they could believe it would take them. That's how far they went. Right. Right. I love it. I love it. That is so nice. Look, look, we read each other. You read me. And I read you back. Listen, you, I'm sitting over here like, I just talked to my male reader because I have, it's going to sound a little... But I have men read me mm -hmm. like when I can get to a man's spiritual, I, I like for them to read me. So I have my guy read me and he said everything you said just now. So I'm sitting here and if you can tell, I'm sitting here like, how does she know? Yeah. I'm like, how do you yeah. know this? He literally said everything you said mm -hmm. to me last night, but then just in his words. And I'm sitting here like, OK. So I am doing something right. Absolutely. Like, okay, to say yes. Absolutely. You, you're you definitely it. on the right path. And now you see why, you know, I was able to take the cards away, you know, and that's where the high priestess was born in me because it was like, mm -hmm. I am the cards. Yeah, I, I read myself. And a lot of times just the way people present to me and they'll always tell me that they'll be like, you don't know me. You don't know me. You don't know me. Baby, your energy has told me everything <laughs> I need to know. Like, I don't want to know you. Okay. Good luck with that. So, so yeah, you know, it, 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 being a medium, because I'm, I'm still a medium. I just, you know, I just read in a different way. And that's why I said, just like you teach a kid to read a certain way, this may not be your final destination, but it's definitely put you on a path. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would love to see you take your craft because that's what it is take your craft to the highest level that you can take it to. And I know that if you stay sincere and pure in your heart, like you, like you are right now, yes. you definitely yes, will. Sorry. You definitely will. Okay. So nice. I am not going to keep you all night. Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad okay, to have you on this you show. And like I said, I am going to link all of your information in the description box below. Any of you all who are, interested in it who have questions you know who who are looking for some guidance make sure yeah. you check out my girl jute and until the next time until the next time class is now <laughs> dismissed thank you for coming out girl thank you talk to you talk to you soon okay All right, thank you for sticking around until the very end of this episode. If you liked this content, then you may want to check out this video right here. And if you haven't already, for whatever insane reason, go ahead and subscribe to my channel by clicking this link right here. Until the next time, be unplugged, unbothered, and unleashed. You're not niggas.